Are you going to the beach or a tropical vacation? Stay tuned. I have everything you need to pack for your beach getaway in today's video. Hi, this is Neto. Welcome to my channel. So excited to have you here. If you are new, this place is the place to be if you're looking to build a wardrobe and a style that you love so that you can look beautiful and feel confident every single day. One of the reasons I'm smiling so broadly is I love this dress. Thank you to Veronica M. La Veronica M, if you're not familiar with it, is a Los Angeles-based brand. All of their fabrics are sourced in Los Angeles and the clothes are made there as well. And I am obsessed with this dress. And this is going to lead me very nicely into today's video topic because I don't know about you guys, but I am ready to travel. I am ready to travel. So I've got a couple more travel videos coming up for you. I've done one already. And 2022 is the year that we can get back out there again and see the world and um, maybe spend time and make memories with family members. So very excited about today's topic. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm a personal stylist. I've been a personal stylist for about 15 years and I've been in the fashion industry for 25 years. Well, pretty much since I graduated from college. And I also live in Florida. So I have the unique, unique perspective of being a personal stylist who lives in Florida. I've also helped hundreds, if not thousands of women pack for trips and also create travel capsule wardrobes. So because of that, I feel like I'm in a unique situation to help you pick the items that are going to be the most important for you to take on a trip to a beach vacation. So the beach is right over there. It's right over there. We live a block from the beach um, on a little strip of land between the river and the ocean. And the beach is part of our lifestyle here in Florida. So I know a thing or two about what you need and what you can skip when it comes to going to the beach. As a former recovering over a packer, I know how frustrating it can be to take everything but the kitchen sink, so to speak, on a trip and still find that you don't have everything that you need. And so today's video, I'm trying to show you the things that I think are going to be the most versatile, that you're going to get the most mileage out of on a beach vacation, even if you're going on a cruise, anywhere where you're going to, you know, it involves sun and sand and pool and beach and ocean and you know any any of those warm weather tropical kind of destinations so um, these are going to be the things that you're going to get you're really going to use when you pack and you're not going to regret packing and are going to streamline the whole process I'm going to have a beach packing list uh, attached to the blog that's going to go with this video and I'm excited so let's get started now there are two philosophies when it comes to cover-ups and bathing suits of course you want to start with you know a couple of beautiful bathing suits if you're going longer than three or four days I, and even if you're going only three or four days i recommend at least two bathing suits one can be drying while the other is on your body right so i love to bring a mayo a one-piece bathing suit because i think they're so elegant and they're also versatile and they're flattering on many of us so uh, if you like bikinis bikinis are awesome as well but bikinis in my opinion require a different type of cover-up than a one-piece bathing suit whereas a one-piece bathing suit can almost work as a bodysuit with a sarong don't worry I'm not gonna tell you to wear your one-piece bathing suit out at night you know clubbing or whatever um, but um, I do think a one-piece bathing suit does have a little bit more versatility so you want to ask yourself what your philosophy is when it comes to cover-ups do you like to cover up head to toe like throw on a dress over your bathing suit and be completely covered or do you like to tie something on for me it depends on what I'm doing in that cover up. So if I'm just going over to the, the beach bar, the tiki bar to get a drink, you can throw on a sarong or a cover up like that. If I'm going into a restaurant for a meal or walking around for a little bit longer than that, I generally prefer to throw on like a cover up dress, an entire one piece item. So I'm gonna give you a couple of options in both categories. So the first item on my beach vacation packing list is two bathing suits. Now I, I'm showing here two one-piece bathing suits, but of course, pick a style, color, everything that suits you. I just think these are beautiful. The first is from Melissa Odebash. It's the Panaria one-piece swimsuit. I think it's just such a pretty classic blue and white floral, just very pretty, very elegant. Now there's also this gorgeous um, Pareo, tassel cover-up Pareo that goes with the bathing suit. And you can tie that on, like I said, go up to the beach bar for drinks, go up to the tiki bar, walk around the pool. In my opinion, it's so much more elegant to walk around the pool in a beautiful cover-up than it is just in your bathing suit, but that's just me. Um, the second option I have for the second bathing suit in this capsule is the Rifle Paper Company Summer Salt Collaboration Bathing Suit. This is the perfect wrap one piece in this beautiful floral print. I think it's just so, so pretty. Now, what's great about Summer Salt is they essentially have a whole beach to brunch or beach to after um, 
capsule. They just have all the pieces that you need if you're if you're living that lifestyle. And so this is their wrap skirt. It's called the beach to brunch skirt. And it's just so pretty. And it comes in the same floral as the bathing suit. So if you put it on, it almost looks like a dress. And I just love that look. It also comes in a shorter version for those of us who are not that tall. So it comes in a shorter version, a longer version. But this tie-on skirt that goes with a bathing suit, it's just so, so chic. Now for a cover-up dress option, I really like this one from Melissa Odebash. It's just a beautiful light blue eyelet. Of course, you can get one cover-up dress in a white color or whatever, a neutral color and wear it over all your bathing suits. You don't have to have one to go with each bathing suit. But if you've got the space, it's definitely a glamorous choice, right? Now, in addition to a cover-up skirt or a cover-up dress, another option for a great cover-up is a cover-up shirt, like a button-down gauzy shirt. You may already have one of these in your wardrobe and you want it to be long enough to just offer some coverage and give you a little bit of comfort and modesty. Um, I really like this is the cotton linen beach shirt from J. Crew. It's $69.50 and I think that's a great option. So if you're just taking one cover up, a cover up dress or a cover up shirt like this is a great option. So we've got the swimsuit and the cover up boxes checked. What is next? The next thing I think you should add now, we're starting with the essential, like absolute, absolute must have pieces. And I think you need a couple of pairs of shorts. And I think they should be neutral. So the neutral shorts that I've picked are a pair of denim shorts. These are the Madewell Dad Jean Cuff Shorts. I think these are perfect. They're neutral, they're versatile, they will literally go with everything. Another pair that I really like are the Spanx um, six inch twill shorts. Now they come in a variety of neutral colors. I definitely recommend getting these both in neutrals because you can have fun with the tops if you keep the bottoms simple. So a pair of denim shorts and then a pair of neutral shorts are going to check those boxes for you in your wardrobe. Okay, the next thing is um, a black dress. I, I think a maxi or a midi is a great option for this because it's flowy. It just has that summery vibe. Maxi dresses are a really big thing this season. And if you can find a maxi dress, that's the right length. And I know that can be a, a challenge for us petite ladies. Um, but I think that they are for uh, just that summery feeling. I don't know. I just feel like a maxi dress needs to be on a beach vacation packing list. I can't even justify it. Just, just trust me. I think it's a great option. Now, it needs to be, in my opinion, this first dress, This, if it's going to be the only dress you're going to bring, it needs to be in a, in a neutral color. It does not have to be black. It can be any neutral. It can be light or dark. I just happen to found a couple of black dresses that I loved. So this infinity dress, this is from... I think this is from Silk and Salt. It is $66. Now, a lot of infinity dresses that have all the options are not that cute, but this one's really cute and all the options are actually cute. There are different ways to wear this dress and I think it's really, really pretty. And at $66, that's a great price for an infinity dress. Um, this other dress, the Go With The Flow oversized maxi dress, same brand, it's $88. It comes in a variety of colors and it's just an easy, breezy, effortless, flowy, beach vibey dress, especially, like I said, in, in some of the lighter and summery colors that they have. So I think that's a great option as well. It's a little bare at the top. It's strappy. So keep that in mind. Um, depends on whether you're going to be throwing it on over a bathing suit, whether you're going to be throwing it on over a strapless bra, like how, how, how you feel about that um, strappiness. But I think that just a long flowy dress like that is a great option. Okay. So we've covered the shorts. We've covered the, a beautiful dress. Uh, now you're going to need something to wear on the top of those shorts, right? I think tees, tees are one of those ubiquitous items that everyone tells you to pack and you're like, am I really going to wear tees? I really do think that they're versatile and that they deserve a place in your beach vacation capsule wardrobe because you can wear them as swim shirts. You can wear them, I mean, um, sleep shirts. You can wear them as cover-ups. You can wear them with the shorts. They're comfortable, they're casual, and I just think that they're super effortless. I really like this heathered ruched puff sleeve t-shirt from Wit & Wisdom. It's $39. It's a little bit more elevated and it looks more like a top than a t-shirt. Um, Reminds me a little bit of the Nation ones, but it's a lot less expensive. I think that's a great option. I also really like this Ivory Cupro V-neck cropped tee from Veronica M. It's cropped as in its waist length and not long, which is great to pair with shorts in the summer. Um, not cropped where it shows your belly. Um, so a, a t-shirt in a couple of neutral colors is going to be great to pair with those shorts and to just kind of hang out in. Now let's talk about what you're wearing on the plane because the t-shirt is going to be one of, one of the, the key pieces to wear on the plane. There's another option as well that's coming up. But I think a t-shirt combined with this next item will be your go-to travel look to your beach vacation. So the next item is a pair of beach pants. I really like linen. I know linen wrinkles. I don't think it matters. I think it still looks effortless and cool and even wrinkly, it looks great on the beach. Um, but of course you could do a gauzy cotton as well. Uh, these linen joggers in um, a navy color, I think these are just a beautiful 
beautiful beachy pant option. And again, you can pair that with a t-shirt and a wrap, which I'll be talking about in a minute. And it's a great travel outfit. And then you can also throw it on over your bathing suit. You can, you know, you can just lounge in it. They're just so, so comfortable. Um, I also like this Palazzo pant with ties from Somersault. I think it's a great beach pant. It's just a flowy, effortless pant. It comes in a couple of different colors. So again, you've got the pants and you've got the t-shirt. You've got your travel look, right? And it's going to be a cool travel look. I always suggest traveling in um, pieces, obviously, that you're going to get a lot of mileage on on the actual trip and not a separate travel outfit and to wear some of your bulkiest and chunkiest things. So I'll be getting to that in a minute. Now, the next thing that I think you need is a, a light sweater or a summery sweater of some kind because you want something to throw on if it gets cold, you know, if you, get, you catch a chill, you're walking in the evening, whatever. And so I really like this is the Mercy from a company called Mercy. The, the second half of the, the word is S-E-A, like the beach. Um, Catalina sweater. It's $89. I think it's an easy, effortless, flowy sweater. You can throw it on with your beach pants. You can throw it on with shorts. You can throw it on over a bathing suit. I think it's a great layering piece. The other alternative would be to grab a sweatshirt, but a sweatshirt is a little bit more casual. I really like this one from PJ Selvage. It's the Let's Get Tropical sweatshirt. So a sweater or sweatshirt is going to be, I think, an essential. I mean, even in Florida, Maybe, maybe if you're always hot and you're going to a really hot place, you don't need a sweater. But traveling, you might still need one. So if you're not going to do the tee with the pants, you can do the sweater with the pants and you've got a different travel outfit option. So something to think about. Okay, in addition to the sweater or sweatshirt, I think that you need, obviously, you're gonna need to pack PJs. They don't have to be themed PJs, but I just could not resist these PJ Selvage Let's Get Tropical pajama shorts. How cute are these pajama shorts? They're so cute. And they go with the tropical sweatshirt, so you can lounge in these and you can sleep in them. So pieces that do double duty like that are really great to take on a trip. Speaking of double duty, I loved this tropical French terry print t-shirt and matching shorts from Beach Lunch Lounge. This is so cool. You can sleep in it, you can lounge in it, you can wear it poolside. I typically don't like things that, like I want your PJs to be PJs and your loungewear to be loungewear, but in the case of travel, you want everything to do double duty. Okay, so I alluded to the fact that there was a wrap on this list and I'm gonna mention my favorite warm weather wraps. Yes, they exist and I think they're essential. So this is a classic wrap from Mercy. Um, I think it's a, a like an effortless, lighter, more summer friendly wrap. Again, this is gonna be a great third piece for the plane with your t-shirt and pants. Um, and it's just going to be a great layering piece over a, you know your strappy dress in the evenings at a restaurant. Another great option is the blue salt wrap. I've mentioned this wrap before in my Travel Essentials video. It comes in the one, two, or three yard versions. It's a tensile knit. It's a yummy, yummy knit. It's light, but still gives you some warmth and um, very, very versatile. I love that piece. Now, if you want your wrap to double as your cover-up, then um, Mercy has, and as a towel, Mercy has this towel sarong, which I think is such a great idea. Um, if your bathing suit, especially if your bathing suits are solid and neutral, uh, you can throw this on over a bathing suit as a cover-up skirt, and you can pair it with your, um, with your, over your shoulders for the flight, or use it as a towel on the beach. I mean, it's just a really, really versatile piece. Okay, we've covered all of the basic and essential pieces now, all of the staple pieces. And if you wanted to stop there, you could stop there. You've got tees, you've got shorts, you've got a dress, you've got a wrap, you've got a sweater, you've got PJs, you've got bathing suits and cover-ups, right? Those are all the essential pieces, the pants. Now are the fun pieces. And I think you're going on a tropical vacation, you need a couple of fun pieces. So the first item I would suggest is a couple of fun tops. And these are a couple strappy tops. These are both from Veronica M. I love this poppy surplus tank. I think it's a beautiful kind of strappy top that can kind of go with the beach pants, would go with the shorts, just be a cute um, addition to your beach wardrobe. Uh, I also love this black strappy top. I think it's really pretty. This halter style top is a great addition. Again, shorts, it goes with your pants, it goes with, with everything in that, in that beach capsule. Now I have some more fun tops um, because I think you need a fun printed top that you can pair with the wide leg palazzo pants and feel all glamorous. You can pair it with the shorts. I love this one from Veronica M. This is the uh, Sayori stretch tube top. Looks comfortable, looks easy to throw on. Um, it's tan line friendly, all of the things. I, I, I absolutely love that. Now, if you want something really glamorous, this top is just so, so glamorous. Now you have to have no chest in my opinion, and you have to have no belly. Um, and you have to have a kind of dramatic style personality, as I clearly do. 
but this beautiful blouse um it's kind of a higher end option it's about 300 dollars. but i think this would be amazing with a pair of palazzo pants or even with shorts um, on a beach vacation so if you have the personality and the body type that that you know loves this type of blouse then go for it absolutely Okay, the next item, we talked about a couple of fun tops, a solid color top and then um, a printed top. And the next thing is a fun dress. And so that leads me into this beautiful uh, smock necked red dress. It's got like a couple of tiered ruffles. I'm gonna show you a little clip of wearing it here. I just love, love this dress. This is from Veronica M. And I just think it's beautiful. It's about $130, I think. I'll, I'll have all the information below. And it's just beautiful, effortless. You throw it on and you're dressed. You're like ready to go. Absolutely love this dress. Another dress that I, I love and I think would be such a fun vacation dress you know my you know my feelings about farm rio you know my love for them runs deep and this tropical banana print sundress 195 uh, like does that just say vacation it just totally says vacation it just totally says vacation okay we have finished the clothes so you've got a couple of fun pieces and then you've got mix and match essential pieces that will take you through a tropical vacation in style now let's get to the accessories because they're at least as important at least it's important, right? Now, the first thing I think you need is a bag that will double as a carry-on and a beach bag. And I've got a couple of great options for you for this. Now, you carry it on the plane, and it can either be your personal item or your carry-on, depending on how you're traveling. And um, it's just it, it, it's, it works as a great carry-on. But then it's also equally useful as a beach bag, because you really are going to want a beach bag. But you don't want to just pack a beach bag because it takes up too much room. So these are so versatile. I love this Calipon. Hana Samudra uh, times Aloha. So the brand is Aloha and they have these day tripper bags. And this pattern is with their collaboration um, with this brand Kalapana Samudra. Anyway, it's just a cool tropical but neutral print. And I think it makes a great carry on slash beach bag. Absolutely love it. It's got pockets. It's just a great, they have different sizes and different shapes of these bags, but I think this is just Perfect. Their day tripper bag is, is great. Bagu is a brand I've loved for a long time. It was the first brand I ever bought reusable shopping bags from. And they have the Travel Cloud bag. It's about $78. This is a great packable. Um, it's a carry-on that, you know, like I said, you can easily use as a beach bag. And I think that's a great option. If you want a nice solid neutral bag that you'll use over and over and over again in your life, I think that's a great bag. Now, inside your beach bag slash carry-on, you're going to want a wristlet or a clutch of some sort. It'll double as a wallet. If you're gonna run down for drinks, you're gonna go out to dinner, you don't wanna take your beach bag with you. And my, my suggestion is to do a beach bag and a clutch slash wristlet kind of bag and skip the regular in-between purse. You can do the purse if you want, but you, if you, you should be able to get by with just these two bags. So this clutch or wristlet is going to be your little bag that's gonna go into your big bag. Um, this one is from, um, Target and I, I just think it's seventeen dollars. It's just a great little little clutch with a tassel on it. It's fun. Again, doubles as your wallet. Doubles, you know, holds your lipstick and whatever else you need. Um, I love this one from Aloha, same brand as that day tripper bag. It's their small to made by Samudra pouch. It's thirty two dollars. Doubles as a clutch uh, wallet. You can even put a wet bathing suit in it. It's just a very versatile bag. This is Veronica M. Talia, I think, straw clutch. Love it. Just absolutely really, really pretty. Adds a little pop of color. You've got a lot of neutrals in your travel wardrobe, and I think it's super, super cute. Now you've got those two bags. Let's talk about shoes. My suggestion is to have two to three pairs of shoes. Now, the general rule is to take three pairs of shoes on a trip. I think that's very limiting. I think basically what you do is you take your husband's huge massive shoes which take up half a suitcase and you take them out and you can just slip in a couple more pairs of shoes men's shoes take up so much room like why do they take up so much room i don't understand but you can definitely slip a couple of more of these wedges into your suitcase if your husband's shoes are gone maybe he just wear oh, like just pair takes one pair that he wears or whatever i don't know anyway I digress. So the first pair of shoes I think that you need is a pair of wedges or espadrilles. You know I love espadrilles for summer. They're so elegant. And a pair of metallic espadrilles will go with everything in your wardrobe. You can go as low or as high as you want, but I think a little bit of a heel is going to give you a, a, 
a different option if you're able to wear a heel or a flat form or a platform of some sort. So I love these gold platform espadrille wedges from Veronica M. They're $42. They are so, so cute and so versatile. Like if you could only pack one nicer pair, this would be the nicer pair that would get you through the entire trip. Um, now, a couple with patterns and prints. If you're not taking patterns and prints on the rest of your trip, or if none of your dressier things have patterns or prints on them, you can add it with shoes. And these are both so cute, I just had to mention them. This first pair is from Jessica Simpson. Um, these kind of block wedge, platform with a tropical print on them. I think they are super, super cute, these slides. I just love them. Um, the Never Wedge Sandals from Nine West are another fun option, but I would really recommend these be a second pair of wedges after that metallic wedge, because that metallic wedge will really be your most versatile option. But I just had to share those because they're super cute. And if you have space, slip them in your suitcase. Um, the second pair I think that you should take is a pair of leather slides. Now, leather slides as opposed to flip-flops because they're more versatile. You can wear them sightseeing or you can wear them to go into a beach shop or whatever and not feel like you ju you're just on the beach. I just feel kind of like rubber flip-flops really just belong on the beach. And I live in Florida where everybody wears them as their only footwear from April to October, but I still feel like they belong on the beach. So this is a great pair of slides these are from beaks beaks is a great sandal brand they're like sustainably made and they do all the things and they've got comfort footbeds and they're super super comfortable these are a metallic will go with everything super super neutral absolutely love these um i also like these isla woven slides i think these are beautiful this is another neutral it's got a woven texture which is a nice addition to your beach uh wardrobe and so a pair of, of leather slides in a neutral color like that are going to be really really versatile now if you want a third pair of shoes then you can go for a flip-flop or thong sandal I'm showing you a couple here that are leather because if you pick pack a leather pair of flip-flops, you can skip the slides if you want to narrow it down to two shoes. I don't know why you would only want to take two shoes, but if you only want to take two shoes, you could do a leather flip-flop and the espadrilles and you would be covered. So this matte flip-flop from Tiki's, Tiki's are my favorite leather flip-flops. They come in different skin tones, which is super versatile and I mean, super flattering and they lengthen your legs and they're just so summery and they're, I don't know, I just love Tiki's flip-flops. And then then um, these seabird flip-flops from Beak are another great option, kind of an elevated leather flip-flop. So it, it kind of crosses, because they're leather, they're a little bit dressier than a regular flip-flop. And like I said, they take the place of both. Now, just for fun, just for fun, I've got to show you two crazy fun flip-flops. The first is the Tropical Puffy Flip-Flops from Farm Rio. I'm not even sure how I feel about these, but I just had to show them to you. Like, they just make me smile. They make me smile. If you have the personal style and you love these, absolutely go for these. I think they are adorable. Uh, Melissa, if you don't know Melissa, it's a vegan brand that uses rubber for shoes. I have several of their shoes, but these are their slim, water-resistant flip-flops, and six, they're $68. These big bows, these are they're just so fun. And so cute. So you need a pair of great flip-flops as your third option. The next thing I recommend is a pair of inexpensive sunglasses. And I say inexpensive because you could sit on them. They can get in your beach bag and get sand all over. You know, like you just don't want to have, they don't want to be too, you don't want them to be too precious. I mean, yes, you can take fancy sunglasses if you're more responsible with your sunglasses than I am, but I think it's just nice to have a pair of inexpensive sunglasses for the beach that you don't have to worry about. These are the Sojo's Retro Vintage Cat Eye Sunglasses from um, Amazon. I think they're about $15. They're super, super cute. They have lots of great reviews, and I just think they're a great pick for a trip like this. Now, keep the jewelry simple on a beach trip. I generally will do like, I'm wearing a gold chain necklace here. I'll, I'll generally just wear, a, you know, one delicate necklace that kind of goes with everything on a trip like this. And then I, I like to have a couple of earring options. So the first earring option is something neutral. This gold um, matte statement hoop earrings, these are from Veronica M. They're $22, just a gold hoop or a gold earring of some sort will be like your neutral go with everything, you know, everyday option. And then I think it's also fun to have a fun statement earring in your in the mix. Um, these rainbow tassel earrings, I love these. They're so cute, they're so fun, great for a beach vacation. Again, these are from Veronica M, as well as these peninsula beaded earrings. Turquoise to me just says summer vacation. And so I absolutely love, love these earrings. So you want a pair of statement earrings and then you want a pair of just solid metal earrings in your metal of choice as well as a necklace that you just don't take off and you kind of leave on okay what else do you need on this trip we're getting to the end a packable straw sun hat i think this is so essential but the thing about 
straw hats is usually they're very hard to take with you but packable so it has to be packable that's super essential i love this one that i found from venus for 22.99 like what a great price love the bow it looks a lot more expensive than it is i love the fringe trim so i think that's a great sun hat i think it's really important to have that to protect your skin and to protect your you know your, your face to protect, your, protect you for the sun it gets really hot in tropical climates and you want that sun hat another thing that's going to shield you from the sun is I know this is a little extra, but it's a parasol. It's a parasol, but it's from Cooley Bar. So it's got UPF 50. It's a travel umbrella that shields you from the sun and from the rain because Florida, for one, one of if that's your beach vacation destination or any of the tropical destinations, tend to get a lot of rain. And so you want that packable umbrella that also shields you from the sun. This is really pretty. It's from Cooley Bar. Comes in a variety of colors. I absolutely love that. And it's a travel umbrella, so it's very packable. The next thing I would recommend is to pack a sunscreen. Sunscreens at travel destinations tend to be very expensive and you just want to make sure that you're not like fumbling and trying to find sunscreen when you first get there i love this sunscreen from a brand called soul sense um their sunscreens are are fragranced and they smell amazing and they've got skincare properties in them so this is the raspberry dream sunscreen and antioxidant moisturizing lotion and spf 50 it's $14.99, so if you wanted to, and if you were really low maintenance, unlike me, you could skip the perfume and just use your sunscreen as a perfume because it's gonna smell so good. There's another brand called Vacation that claims to make the best-selling sunscreen as well, so your sunscreen, if it smells good enough, can double as a fragrance. Um, okay, last item, and just because I have to mention this, you guys know I'm a little extra, so I have to mention something that's a little extra. Um, the Mercy Sun Scarf. You can tie this onto your beach bag. You can tie it in your hair. It's just super cute. I don't know why you need a scarf in the sun, but if you do feel like you need a scarf in the sun, this would be the one. Super, super cute from Mercy. So that is it. Everything I think that you need to travel stylishly and in still in a streamlined way on a beach vacation. So I want to know, what did I leave off this list that is an essential in your book? What did you say? Oh my gosh, I can't believe she didn't mention that. I think I covered all the bases, definitely all the bases that I would take with me on that type of trip and what I've used for my clients in the past. But I want to know what you take on your beach vacation. Let me know in the comments. Um, let me know if you discovered any new brands or any new items here that you're excited to check out. I always love hearing that. Don't forget, as always, to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already means so much to me don't forget to comment if you can and hit the notification bell it lets me know when it lets you know when I upload new videos every Tuesday and every Friday love you guys and I'll see you in the next one bye